they're really big. Like, that's my arm. They're big. They're big this way. And so, yeah. in our bedroom right now, the dogs are in here. It doesn't fit, like, over there. Astro, they left. Or, like, over here. So, I think we're only going to be able to put, like, one. <laughs> and then the other one, we're just going to put a stash in the closet until until we finish building our master bedroom. Let me close this front door. Uh, and then they will fit beside the bed. But um, they're too big right now. So, I think only one of us is going to get a side table for right now. So, this is it sideways. <laughs> Do I love it? No. But uh, this is the only way it's going to fit until we build our master. So, this is sideways. Hi, Ellie Bell. And then this is the other sideways way. Um, and this is laundry that I got to put up. So let's choose just one rock. We will do this one. So pass it. We're just going to look at it and pass it around. You know what? You can look at this one while she's looking at that one. So, um, what are y'all holding? Uh, a rock. A rock. A rock. Okay. So where do you think these rocks can be found? Uh, like in the on the ground. Um, on the ground. Okay. So, show the children the page at the end of the lesson titled Earth Landscape. So, you see this photo? These are all different types of landscapes on Earth. Right? Oh, looks like this. Yeah, identify the rocks that are found in each image. Explain that mountains, the sand. So, we have mountains. We have, like, mountains and valleys. We have a lake, right? Yeah. This looks like an underground cave. I like it, Dad. Oh, that looks like where you can go to escape. Yeah, kind of. So, I, I if rocks rock. could talk. So, rocks are elements that the earth is made of. Rocks are not born and they do not die. Although, they can change shape and form. Yes. Rocks and the minerals they are made of have been around since the creation of the earth. How do you they have rocks? been present for every generation, civilization, and historical event. Yeah, y'all can swap. Wouldn't it be interesting if rocks could talk and tell you the stories of the earth and its people? Because rocks are, some rocks are extremely old. Really? Right, on. Yeah, Here, that you would can be look like at really this one, Easton. Cool I can feel it. You can feel it. We're just looking at that one for now. Um, oh. the, the rocks are so old, so wouldn't it be cool if they could tell you a story about everybody they've seen and all the stories, right? Yeah. Imagine you are a stone and that you are present for any time, period, or place. Where would y'all like to be? Like, if you were a rock, where would you like to live? You can look at this to help you. Where would you like to live? In the sunny lake. The sunny lake? I would like to uh, live. I kind of like that, that little cavern. I also like the thing where oh, this looks nice. a bunch of square oh, water. Oh, that nice. I want to make fill that water here and here. And here. Okay. And I'm going to be in that water. Very nice. Okay. So, yeah. now rocks don't actually speak and use words, right? So... Um, but there are things that they can tell us about the history. Listen, okay, listen. But there are things that they can tell us about the history of Earth. Astro, that's enough water. Astro! Geologists are scientists who study Earth, its processes, and its materials. They seek to understand the hidden mysteries of the Earth and discover what Earth and its components have to tell us about our home. Geology includes the study of rocks and what they are made of. It also includes the study of many amazing land structures such as tall mountains, deep canyons, and frozen tundra. The face of the earth has changed over time because of earthquakes, volcanoes, storms, floods, and erosion. Geologists study these events and how they affect slash change the world. So the vocabulary word for this time, uh, you can just maybe just write it somewhere. It says write it on our science wall, but I don't have a science wall. Don't touch that, please. Where's the other rock? Mm -hmm. All right. Geology. Okay. It doesn't tell me the thing, but. Uh, well, you know what? It's also right here. It is. I put like one what geology. You do the I'll let you write this down in just a second. I'm going to do it in just a minute. So here is an egg. Just like an egg, the earth is composed of three main layers. It has the crust, right? Mm -hmm. So that is like the shell of the egg oh, will yeah. represent Earth's crust. It is a very thin layer of the Earth. 
it is on the top of Earth's crust that soil, rocks, and plants grow. So we're going to gently crack open the egg and peel away this shale. So let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I can peel it. It may not peel. Did you boil the egg? I did boil the egg. It says boil it. So this is like the crust of the earth. So like the soil, the rocks, the plants. What's that? This is the egg. So, well, this is a boiled egg right now. This is this is just like a representation of the earth, right? Yeah. So if can we I eat it after? No, because my hands are not clean right now. Oh. So imagine oh. if we peeled off. It does. It seems like a boiled egg. Imagine if we peeled off Earth's crust. This is what it would look like, right? Mm -hmm. Underneath the crust is the mantle, okay? That is the white layer of this egg will represent the mantle, okay? So now we're gonna cut it in half. Boom. Wow. The core, cool. yep, the very center of the Earth is called the core. This yellow part That's represents the, the core. That's a long one. Okay, so, um, that's what, in the middle of the earth is the lava. In the okay, so, the earth is the lava. so we're going to watch a video, but we'll do that in just a second. But right now, um, see, so have it. Okay, so let's read this and then we will watch the video and Olivia will do her thing. So, there is so much that we can learn from rocks. They are the foundation of the earth we stand on. Christ taught us that wise men build their foundations upon rock. Um, there is only one true rock that is strong enough to withstand the storms of this life. The foundation on which we need to build our lives is Jesus Christ. Remember the story about, I don't remember their names, but he built his foundation on a rock. Yeah. And so he, the seas didn't blow him away. And the other one, who was a fool, built it on the sand and his blew away, right? He's He's like, so the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. In him I will trust. Easton, who saw? As we learn about geology and study the incredible earth that God created for us, let's remember that God created all of these things to help for us to lead us to him and help us learn more about him. All that we study and learn can open the door for more of us, for us to more deeply ponder God, his love for us, and how we can better build our foundation on the true and sure rock, which is our Lord Jesus Christ. Why? So now what we're going to do is I'm going to put on a video, my hands, down, and then Olivia's going to do that. So hold on. Good morning, pretty girl. What are y'all doing? It's kind of cold outside this morning. It's kind of cold. <laughs> Hmm. Ellie, don't start. My dog. Put another dog. Don't start. All right. Let's go let the other chickens out. Come on. It's cold, but it feels really good outside. I just woke up too. Come on, Rudy. There's my other rooster, Slater. And of course, early morning traffic jams. Nancy, come here. There you go. He's kind of low man on the totem pole, so I think that's why he's not like eating out of it. I wish he would figure it out. Yeah, see, he sees him eating. And he's like, uh, sir, you're not supposed to be here. Yo, 
he'll be nice. Yeah, see, he's running. Poor baby. You can eat from the food, honey. Astro, don't chase the chickens. And this is Rebecca. Mm -hmm. Hi, Pancake. Hi, Paquita. Astro. God. Stop it. Ellie, no ma'am, come here. Stop it. Stop. Hey, Debbie. Let's stop a little clear. Oh, don't jump. Funny story about that chicken. She was my neighbor's chicken. And then my neighbor lost all her chickens, like to death or whatever. And so that chicken then came to my chicken's house because it had no friends. And eventually we were just like, well, she could stay because, let me clean out that poop, because she is lonely and chickens are flock animals. So that is why she is now my chicken. And she like never goes to my neighbor's house now. <laughs> my neighbor was so sad because she was like, that's my last chicken, blah, blah, blah. And now that chicken doesn't even go over there. But I'm like, well, you have no chickens for her to associate with. Chocolate, what happened in here? It was clean. Okay, get back. You. Astro, don't be a menace. Look at all my barred rocks. I just love barred rocks. I actually ordered some chicks at the end of April. Um, and I ordered a bunch of barred rocks with them. I think I ordered barred rocks, Rhode Island reds, diff two different kinds of turkins, which I'm really excited about. Um, and I think that's it because I got males and females of both. Um, so. Evie, what are you doing, mommy? Can you all sit? Stay. Don't bust out this door. She wants the squirrels. As you can see, some chickens are out. This weekend, we are going to take this metal and hang it. Um, it's going to go like on our ceiling in the living room. So that's what all this random metal is doing. I thought Rudy was going to jump up there. Come on, let's go let chickens out pants in. All right. Ooh, it's cold. It's probably, I think I woke up, it's like 43 outside, but it feels like a good 43, not like super humid or wet. Look at Rudy. Are y'all ready for a traffic jam? Okay. Let's see. out of a traffic jam. I had tricked a lot of them and was able to put them inside last night. My favorite thing when I let them out is as soon as they come out and they start eating the grass or eating like the little micros, you know, like I just, it makes me so happy because I love the sole fact of that for free ranging. Rebecca. There's Slater. Look, Rudy's gonna get him. He's like, don't come around eating over here, bud. <laughs> Slater, what happened? Rudy, why you do that? You don't want Slater eating? Hmm. How pretty he is. Hey, pretty boy. He's like, don't take videos of me, ma'am. Okay, so it is a little chilly today, but I'm going to air out the coop. Oi. Okay, 
Okay, y'all didn't make too bad of a mess overnight. Also, my heater did not work last night and it got down to like 36, which really chickens do not need a heater when they have an enclosed coop like this, especially if a lot of them are in here, their body heat makes them fine. I just wanna throw that out there. Um, but it would not turn on last night, so. Are y'all gonna lay an egg? Who's in here? Oh, hello, little girl. Hmm, let me take a video, picture of you. Fancy, come back. Oh, look, somebody pooped in a nesting box. So let me clean it. Pretty girl. Yeah. Okay. I'll leave you alone. I promise. Oi. That's why, like, that's our outside dog, the black dog. And he hates my yellow dog, the lab, the girl. Hates her. But I'm so surprised that they're playing. So maybe that means that they can be in the backyard together. Because that's why she comes out here with me. Because he's always been kind of aggressive towards her. But now they're playing. She goes. Ellie! Ellie Bill! Hi. Were you playing with a friend? Were you playing with Jackson? And there she goes again. Are you playing, Jackson? You're being such a nice boy. He's always been fine with Astro the pug. I have something about girl dogs. <laughs> And they are 100% playing. <laughs> Girl! Jackson! Are you being a sweet boy? Are you being a sweet boy? Oh, now you're going to be ugly, Jackson. Don't do that. Look, there's fancy. What are y'all doing? It's cold, huh? <gasps> there she is. There's Rebecca, huh? Come here. Look. Astro. Gosh. He ruins everything. Ellie! Oh, there we go. She's chasing Astro. You're too fast for him and you hurt him. He's just a little boy. Get Astro. Get Astro. Go get him. Go get him. 